Hi, this is Ahmed from Integer Audio. Our channel is focused on audio and music production. Please subscribe if you are interested in this sort of content and don't forget to visit our website for more in-depth reviews. In this video, we will have a look at another noise suppressor from Waves. It operates on a very similar idea to a plugin that we reviewed before in this channel, which is the Denoiser from Bertum Audio. It has multi bands that help you suppress certain frequencies that may be causing the troubles and keep all the other desired frequencies unaffected. It's not very hard to get used to it and it has a nice vintage design and interface. Let's have a look at the functions and capabilities of this plugin while also experimenting and pushing it to extremes to learn its limitations. The plugin has a vintage analog feel. It sports 6 EQ bands, a threshold slider, a smoothing slider, and there are high pass, low pass filters, and there's this linker which is going to help you move all of the sliders of the EQ bands at the same time, which is helpful sometimes if you set like ratios uh, that you want to keep and just want to increase the reduction rates maybe or decrease the gain. And then there's the suggest mode which typically analyzes the incoming audio signal and sets the controllers in here to fix you a starting point. The curve display is very accurate and has no latency. There are multiple curves in here and um, they imply different things during playback which is going to help you make better decisions as well. The presets as well are very useful because say if you know you're going to deal with um, strictly low range noise then it sets that range for you. So say here you're going to have from 20 hertz to 500 hertz and uh, same thing for um, pretty much uh, any range as well. Like this one from mid range to high range so you're going to start from 330 all the way to 12,000 which is um, again could be useful and just time saving. We're going to be experimenting with all of that and see how we could really uh, use that in real time. So let's get on with it. I have a sample that I recorded with my Behringer microphone. I recorded it with increased microphone sensitivity so there's increased hissing noise and I also have a fan running in the background. So let's take a listen and see how we could treat that one. Life's journey is an ever unfolding story, with each chapter a new opportunity to learn, grow, and embrace the beauty of the unknown. Okay, so one of the first things I like to do is I like to identify which frequency range am I going to be working at. Is it going to be the low range, the mid range, the high range? Maybe um, a few of them. It just depends if I have like more complex noise, um, uh, more complex like noises in my recording. So there's like actually multiple profiles that need to be. Uh, to be gathered. So anyway, um, I'll just find a portion in here where there's just noise. And then uh, from the presets, I'm going to see which range uh, is going to completely kill the noise. Okay. So as you heard, um, in the mid-range, or low to mid-range, so I have around like a tops 4400 um, hertz is like my most and it's pretty much all of it gone. Nothing really. Still not much. Bits of something. Here, starting from 800, we're getting noise. And this is uh, where most of it is, which makes sense. I just aim to keep this white line as as still as possible because it means it's kind of just about right. Maybe around here. And now we're going to listen to the recording again. And I'm going to go back and forth between the uh, playback and the editing or the processing to see if I did maybe too much that I need to um, just roll off some of the cuts that I did at any frequency 
um, that it actually is detrimental to my uh, vocal in here. Life's journey is an ever unfolding story with each chapter a new opportunity to learn, grow and embrace the beauty of the unknown. Sounds really nice to me honestly and just on the first try I didn't really spend too much time on it. It could probably sound better and better but one of the things that really caught my attention is it's so clear like although I did like a pretty big cut in there is like negative 21 dB which is like a really big cut in there but it still sounds somewhat uh, clear and good like the body of the vocal is still there there is some very minor um, uh, noise but it's not very much noticeable and this is just a compromise between sounding good or like yeah good to some extent and just not really ruining everything like if I just go on and on processing everything I might end up with a really um, just a very processed end product that doesn't sound good overall. It might be so clean, but the voice itself might just not be that good. Um, so for now, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. Again, maybe if I spend more time, it could sound better, but we just go with and without so you really hear the difference. Life's journey is an ever unfolding story with each chapter a new opportunity to learn, grow and embrace the beauty of the unknown. Okay, let me just reset this to default. Life's journey is an ever unfolding story with each chapter a new opportunity to learn, grow and embrace the beauty of the unknown. Life's journey is an ever unfolding story with each chapter a new opportunity to learn, grow and embrace the beauty of the unknown. It sounds pretty good in my opinion. Um, maybe some of the uh, resonating characters of my voice are, are gone, but I think it still sounds good nonetheless. Let's move on to the next one. I was surprised how most if not all of the noise was removed from the guitar, especially the high gain profiles. The noise was significantly reduced but with as much character and clarity of the original sound as possible. This will be perfect for practicing and recording guitar instrumentals and pretty much any instrument for that matter. I'll usually use multiple plugins to eliminate the noise completely, like an expander, compression, in addition to genuine denoisers like maybe a couple of them and have each one of them just do a little work but additively just remove the whole thing to an, or like reduce it to an acceptable limit but this one did very good at its own and the high ends didn't really suffer too much of course it's not really exactly the same maybe with less processing and allowing in a little bit more noise you could get like 
to a good compromise because again when you're denoising it's always about finding a good compromise a good balance between what sounds good and um, just without ruining your uh, your whole mix or sample and sound this is a very hard recording to fix as I said before it's always good practice to identify which frequency range you would want to focus on most to make a recording um, usable but with samples like this one where you have moves all over the spectrum it's much harder to get away with genuine sounding vocals for instance and making it sound clear and um, hearable is probably your best bet I'm going to use the suggest feature for this one let's see what it says how much is happening right now but yeah it's a little bit too sunny I think you have to enjoy the hunt for now no complaints how much is happening right now but yeah it's a little bit too sunny I think you have to enjoy the hunt for now no complaints how much is happening right now but yeah it's a little bit too sunny I think you have to enjoy the hunt for now no complaints okay so it's telling me to really take pretty much everything down and I actually agree with it it's so much noise it's just so complex but of course I'm not really gonna go with that because then it's even going to really take away my like the information like the frequencies and the information that has my voice as well how much is happening right now but yeah it's a little bit too sunny I think I have to enjoy the hunt for now no complaints and this brings us to the end of this video I hope you found it helpful like and subscribe for more content like this and if you're interested in noise reduction and noise gates and all the kind of stuff we have covered a few different plugins like this one on the channel i go over different examples and explain how to use each one and when exactly you would benefit from one and not the other thank you for watching and until next time